<laughs> Swallow, a drama mystery suspense released March 6, 2020 here in the States, written and directed by Carlo Mirabella Davis who seems to classify this film more so as a horror drama dark comedy. So it depends on where you look, you might find different specifications and ways that they describe this genre of film. Uh, it's probably safer to go with the director, but I'll let you guys just check it out if you decide to and you guys can decide. So on to the plot. So this story follows a newly pregnant housewife named Hunter, played by Haley Bennett, who appears to have the perfect life for a housewife, but she eventually becomes too pressured to maintain her husband Richie, played by Austin Stowell, and his family's expectations of her, and begins to mentally crack. Once this happens, she develops a disorder called pica, which is a condition where she compulsively swallows inedible objects. So before we get deeper into the characters, I just want to discuss a couple things regarding the director for this film. So this is Carlo Mirabella's first feature length film that he's written and directed, and the majority of his previous work was more so short films. But I have to say after seeing his work in this film, I'm kind of curious to keep an eye out for him to see what he does next, because this guy definitely has potential. Also, quick fun fact regarding the story for Swallow, so this idea was actually inspired by Carlos's grandmother, who was a house wife in the 50s, also in an unhappy marriage. She began to develop various rituals of control like being an obsessive hand washer and going through four bars of soap a day and 12 bottles of rubbing alcohol a week. He says that he feels that this was a way for her to find order in a life that she felt powerless in. And I just thought that that was interesting that the inspiration was something that was uh, closely related. Uh, I would say that it's definitely not as bizarre <laughs> as swallowing things, but it's definitely uh, interesting to know that he personally has an experience in his life where uh, it, it somewhat correlates. So moving on now to the characters, I want to discuss our main character first, Hunter. I have to say that I was fairly entertained watching Haley Bennett's portrayal of Hunter, a woman who slowly develops this condition. It was definitely a convincing performance and we start to understand almost immediately in the film the challenges Hunter is faced with that leads to her situation. Hunter is a very easygoing character who has a difficult time asserting herself and her lack of confidence allows others to push her over the edge. Then there's her husband Richie who contributes to a lot of these issues that she's faced with, but it may not be intentional as we learn more about their marriage as the movie progresses. We start to become unsure on whether or not if he's a controlling asshole and she's actually in danger, or if she's the crazy one and he's trying the best he can to stick by her side until her condition improves. But we learn more about this, you know, as the film progresses. I will say that what I really liked about this movie was the strategic misdirection that's revealed in the second act. It does a great job at getting the viewers very occupied and focused on her condition and it builds up a level of suspense to anticipate what she might be planning to swallow next. It's pretty crazy, but there's these specific scenes where the camera might focus on several inedible items to try to portray to the viewer how certain items may come across as appetizing due to their colors or shapes. It's almost like, you know, they're trying to get the viewer to really see things from her perspective, like, hey, you know, don't you think that looks kind of interesting that you might want to try? And it's like, well, no, but you guys are doing a really good job at, you know, allowing me to see how it could be appetizing. It's honestly a successful attempt at allowing us to see things from Hunter's perspective. And during this time, that strategic misdirection that I mentioned earlier makes its entrance and sort of steals our attention away from her condition. Then there's the setting for this film that definitely contributes to the story in a familiar way that we've seen before in other films. Mainly I'm referring to the clean suburban housing look where everything's very tidy but we see broken characters that contradict the mood of their environment to intentionally display an ironic visual metaphor. In other words, I'm saying yeah this is a well manicured neighborhood, yeah these people look very well put together but the truth is they also have their problems, it might be worse than yours. Like you know, just kind of getting across that idea. And you guys will see this, you know, later on in the film at, at a particular point. But what I really liked regarding the character development is once the film sort of takes a shift in the second act, we get to really see how Hunter grows as a character and uh, how her changes as an individual affects those around her, whether it's a negative or positive light. You just sort of get to see the true colors of everyone kind of comes out. Although this movie's true premise lies beneath 
a much more attention grabbing condition, I have to admit that I was interested in where the story was going. But I will say that I didn't have a huge concern about the main character initially, but as the movie progressed I began to give a shit to a certain extent. But I honestly think that this is mainly because you just gradually learn some pretty shocking things regarding her background. And this allows us as viewers and just pretty much, you know, humane human beings to, to have that level of remorse for her. So I'm giving Swallow a 3.5 out of 5. I mean it wasn't bad and I cared enough to want to stick around to see the outcome. I just didn't feel any real attachment to the characters, only slightly entertained by the concept. So there you have it. Thank you guys once again for checking out the video and if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. Ooh, 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 ooh.